Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. It's been a bit of a while, as you can see. I haven't been having sneaky shaves off camera. I've only missed two shaves since I started traditional white shaving on camera, so let's get stuck in. I'm really looking forward to this. This is getting some itchy ass stuff on my face right now. Chatillon Lux and Elanel Grooming, which is now Declaration Grooming, and Catalan's Prairie. The scent on this, uh, just before I I've obviously took the lid off this. When I first took the lid off this, it's been a while since I used it. Opened the lid up and just went straight for a sniff and it was honking, absolutely stinking the smell. <laughs> but as soon as, as soon as I let that initial smell come out of the tub, and then I had the smell, it smells beautiful. Nice, sweet, sort of floral fougere. It's, I can't really describe it, it's a scent of its own. Very similar to Barrister Man when he makes a scent. And it is its own scent. That's what I get from this. But it's a nice, sweet, just a, just a beautiful scent. It really is. Scent strength at the tub around about five, four or five. And from memory, this one comes up to about a six. I think once you actually lather it up. Now I'm going with one of my favourite brushes of all time. All oh, time. I've only been doing this for fifteen months. Oh no, it's been nearly eighteen months now. Turn and shave custom brush made from Milton. And I think it was back when he used to be Evershave, before he changed his name. This brush is absolutely stunning. It's got a clear handle on the bottom, with just some beautiful red all the way through it. Almost looks like blood dripping through water. A little white patch on the top, and then it's got the 25mm Angel Hair Knot, which is... I haven't used a cashmere knot. Cashmere knot, I believe, is a bulb from memory. I think it's a bulb knot. This is obviously a beautiful looking fan. It matches up beautifully with the size of the handle. It's a very long handle, very comfortable to hold, beautiful ergonomics, and it just looks stunning. And it works well. The only downside to this one for me, which I don't think everyone will have this issue, is I do have just right here, there's a little glue bump just sticking out, a little nodule of glue, and it just pushes that those fibres out just to the side here. But other than that, you don't notice it when you're using it. That's the main thing. So I've had a pretty uneventful week. I've just been working and working and working again, working some more. I, I have basically rested my face. I ended up with a couple of little spots here and there. Just I think just over shaving every day. Four four passes every day is probably too much because I've still got a little spot here. But other than that, I didn't get any ingrown hairs, which I was really surprised about. I thought I would have got a few ingrowns letting it grow out for so long. And yesterday, I got my first spider bite. In, in Australia and it actually bit me right on the freaking love handle. Tiny little spider and I tell you what, the fucking pain. I'm still in pain right now just to touch, if I'll just lightly <laughs> just touch it and just stroke my finger over the top of the bite. Fucking hell the pain. My shirt's rubbing on it right now and it's really irritating it. But I don't want to get my tits out for you boys, you know. I don't want to upset you all. Right, shake the excess out. Here we go. Straight in to load the brush. Do you know what? I better check this is actually recording. Yeah, it is. <laughs> a horrible feeling there that it wasn't. Just dip the tips again. Now this is a soft soap, bordering on croppy sort of texture. So all I'm doing here is just dipping the tips and then lightly lathering off the top. You can probably see it is going gloopy. Well, you probably, hmm. I don't know what I probably can see actually. Very similar consistency to what, what it reminds me of is Frostbite from PAA, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, that sort of soft. And when you start lathering into it, it goes gloopy. But from memory, this was a wonderful soap. Been a long time since I used it. The weather's been pretty average today. The rain's back out again today and tomorrow. So it lets me get some of these warmer scents out right now. It doesn't look like I've got much in there. It really doesn't. Oh, scent's lovely. I'm actually going to be pairing this up with some bay rum scents at the end. Oh, I'm looking forward to this, I tell you. Right, so let's paint on the load, which is super thick. A 
lovely scent. It's almost got a sort of bay rum sort of feel about it. I have to say, I haven't used anything out of all the soaps I've been using that actually smells like this. Right, I'm just painting water in now just to get to that sort of translucent that I always look for. This brush splays is very easily, so it's, that's not the reason why I do it this way. I just do it this way because I find that it makes it just a little bit easier with lathering. And here we go. Pretty good scrub on this brush considering it is very soft bristles. It doesn't have the greatest of backbone. But the actual, it is quite a dense knot. It doesn't seem like it, but it is pretty dense. Oh, I'm painting inside my ears here. Needs a lot more water, so you'll have to bear with me, troops. It's quite a tough brush to deal with if you overload it. Oh, the scent's phenomenal. Now one thing I always liked about this brush and I still really like about it is the length of the handle. It never gets messy. I think these brushes are about 50 bucks, 40 bucks. I'm not sure what his price is like at the moment. I just released a brush which I was very keen to get hold of and Abraham Valela I think that's how he pronounced his name <laughs> beat me to it swine as voluminous as my recent lathers but it's harder to make a really thick lather I find if you've got quite a bit of growth your hair seems to stop the lather from being thick but I've definitely got that underneath the bristles I'll just wipe some of this soap off that I've got everywhere and here we go Rockwell 6C come back a little bit and I've got that on hopefully you can see that plate number six and I've got a brand spanking new Gillette silver blue in there and let's see how we go setting six I haven't used a razor this aggressive for a face shave in quite some time and as you can see it just whips it off I 
going around if that camera's a little bit just a touch high. I'm not sure. I'll watch this one back and I might have to adjust it on the next shave. Very smooth. I don't find the silver blues as smooth as the rubies of the Nassets. But still very smooth, they're not a tuggy razor to shaver or anything, the razor blades. And this razor. It's just so smooth, like incredibly smooth. But once again, I'm still getting one side milder than the other on this razor. It's not a major issue really, because it's still smooth both sides. One side's more efficient than the other, but it is quite annoying because it should be spot on on both sides. Interesting to see you guys out there that have got the 6S, whether it has that problem with your 6S. Obviously the 6C is a cheaper made razor. But at the end of the day, I don't expect a $50 razor to shave like a $100 razor. Actually, let me rephrase that. Not shave like a hundred dollar razor, but to be of the same standard as a hundred dollar razor. Right, let's just empty the sink out because it's absolutely chockers full of hair. I'll tell you what, that feels incredible already. I know so far from that, I've got no next cuts or weepers, but I've got definitely no irritation at all, none. Plenty of slickness, loads of slickness. And as you can see from a first pass point of view, there's not much left really. This is just going to be a case of touching it all up now. Right, I'm going to flip the cap over, just straight over to number five. I will, I? No, do you know what? Stuff it. I'll go down in twos today, even though I hate odd numbers, uh, even numbers. We'll go down in evens. So I'm on a setting of plate number four, which is probably one of my favourite settings on this 6S, unfortunately. I, I, I don't like even numbers, but. I find the evens tend to be just a little bit better on the Rockwell. That's beautiful. What a lather. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. The scent is beautiful. Quite a complex scent, but you get a different scent or a different smell of it every time it sort of wafts around. You get it. So you're constantly smelling it. It's not a soap that you lose scent of as you're shaving. You're constantly smelling something new and it's really nice. Right, setting four. Across the green. Nice light touch. Yeah, I'm not a fan 
I keep saying it, it's a silly thing to some people I would imagine. I hate even numbers. I really hate them with a passion. But setting four on this razor is, in my opinion, the best setting. You feel the blade just. It's very efficient, it's super smooth. Oh, that's incredible. That feels amazing. In terms of actual engineering, it's a, it's a great little razor. I'm still not, in my opinion, I'm not sold on the shape of the head. The shape, these little bumps down here, which is the part of you, you flip it over and it changes the setting. Great idea. Cosmetically, it just doesn't look nice to me compared to the razors that are sort of finished off. But whatever Rockwell have done with the blade angle and the, the actual shaving of it, they've done it very well. I forgot to say very well. They've done it better than anyone else in my opinion. This is probably the smoothest, most comfortable shaver I've used. I can use it on my head, I can use it on my face. I can use it every day, I can use it for heavy growth. I can Really, if truth be told, if I had my choices all over again and this razor was available when I first started white shaving, which it wasn't, that's the reason I would buy either that or the 6S. It's just a, an incredibly good razor. Oh, yes. Right, ladder number three. Oh, it's beautiful. The brush is phenomenal. As you can see, it covers a fair old wacky face as well. Excellent brush for head shaving, especially with this handle. Right, let's dip the tips and just see what happens. Now another thing as well, with this brush, more so than not, if you've got sensitive skin, this knot would be absolutely phenomenal for your skin. Because you get a scrub from it, it's very very soft scrub, but you can feel it. But there's no, there's nothing in this knot at all that will irritate your skin in terms of scratching it or scrubbing it. So if you're having issues with sensitive skin and you think the brush isn't, your brush is maybe just a little bit too firm for it, try it. Honestly, the cashmere knot or this one, the, the angel hair knot from Turn and Shave. Now the other reason why I like it, you can't see it just now, I'll show it at the end, and obviously I've seen it at the start, it reminds me of a bow knot, it looks like a natural hair knot from a distance, until you actually get it in your hands, and you feel it, and you realise it's not, it looks like a bow knot, so it's got a natural look to it. Now all the brushes in my den are split now, I've got a natural hair section and I've got a synthetic section, that one looks a little bit out of place in the synthetic section because when I open the door, it looks like a bow. A natural blonde hair broke bow. shave this is. I'm not even, I don't even feel like I've irritated my skin at all in the slightest. But I am going to have a fourth pass because I haven't shaved for about five or six days. 
and this lather is just phenomenal and the brush feels beautiful. Oh, this freaking spider bite is killing me. Beautiful bit of painting on as well, really nice. Now, as an owner of Wolf Whiskers, Brush Guy, TF Custom, MV Shave, Leo Frio, this is as good as any of them. I still find, my own personal opinion, that Wolf Whiskers handles are the best that I've got in terms of finish and the resin pour from MB Shave, and I mean, that, that's phenomenal how you get that colouring through a clear resin. Right, this is just going to be past number four, it's just going to be a touch up, just picking up hopefully what's left. Beautiful. Tell you what, there's a lot of moisture left back in there. My skin feels great, feels smooth. In fact, that's really close. Some of this actually feels BBS on here. Wow. That's the one little spot that I had over the last week. It's just slowly going away now. Other than that, really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. Right, there's peach. Smells like peach snaps. Even tastes a bit like peach snaps. There you have it, you can certainly have a shave with a pretty efficient razor with zero irritation, zero nicks, zero cuts, zero weepers only happy shaves All I'm doing now is just rinsing the brush out Rinse the soap out. This is just part of my routine afterwards. I rinse the soap, rinse the brush. I actually clean all my handles down on my brush and my razor, clean all the razor out, dry off the blade, put the razor back together with the blade in it. I've never had any issues with it. Everything I put back together is generally 
bone dry or as close to. Then I'll leave the brush out for generally 24 hours and a bit the same with the soap, the soap stays out for 24 hours. I'll probably put this soap away tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, I've definitely got a bit of, not OCD, but well, I suppose it is sort of OCD. I do have OCD with stuff in my room. I've got, a, I've got an issue with things not being in perfect angles and straight lines and lined up and things. So pretty much the same with my soap. So everything's got to be cleaned, it's got to be put away, pristine. Dust, can't stand dust. So that's the soap all cleaned out. I probably wash away a shit ton of soap if I'm honest, but. Oh well. well, I've got the lid covered in water and as you can see it is completely water resistant, waterproof. l, &L Grooming or Declaration Grooming as they're knowing now, knowing now, known now, and Chatillon Lux. Beautiful scent, Catalan's Prairie, lovely sort of fougier, floral. Oh, it's got a hint of spicy, spice going on, I don't know what it is, but it is really nice. I should really look up these scent profiles, but I, I try to give you a scent what I think it smells like rather than reading off it and going yeah this has got sandalwood in it and cedar wood and lavender I, you know I like to smell something and go right yeah that smells like this if it doesn't smell like shit all that I've ever smelled before I'll try and do my best like I did with this one <laughs> it's definitely a nice floral fougere sort of scent I don't really know what a fougere is but I'm just basing it on other fougeres they all sort of have that similar sort of tone to them similar note if you like a fougere I think you'll like this the brush today was the turn and shave made by Milton over in the United States. Absolutely stunning. And as you can see, like I was saying before, it does look almost like a natural blonde haired boar brush. It really does, but I tell you what, in terms of softness, there's nothing like this. The, there is a softer knot out there, the Kabuki knot, but she, technically it's a makeup brush. It is a little bit dense, a little bit too dense, but still a beautiful knot to use. If you want to try one out, you can tap up Greg Wagner on Facebook. I know there's guys out there don't like him, but he makes the brushes with the kabuki knot and I don't like his handles but the knot is pretty good and it's not offered anywhere else so that I know of. The razor was the Rockwell 6C, stunning little razor, good bit of heft to it, beautiful looking, well finished, just the blade alignment is just not great, I've got a milder side on the razor and it doesn't matter what blade I use and how perfect I think I've got it, it's still milder on one side. Gillette Silver Blue. Today brand spanking new, super smooth. It was really smooth on six and really, 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 really smooth on four. Let's say I managed to get three passes with plate number four on with no irritation at all, no issues whatsoever. Thea's Peach, which I absolutely love. My medicated one is gone at the moment. I'm assuming my daughter's nicked it. I'm just going to finish off now just with a quick splash of Colonel Conk's Bay Rum. Just a little bit. The uh, thing I hate about this Colonel Conks, I love the bottles and that, but there's no restrictor, so you've got to sort of use your finger or your thumb or whatever. Just a little bit, I'm not putting a lot on. Well, either the Thea's has worked extremely well, and took any sting it, or <laughs> there's just literally no irritation. There's no burn with that alcohol level. Just let me check. No, there's definitely alcohol in this before because I've used this before and it's burned the shit out of me. Pretty sure there's alcohol in there. And that's dried in. I'm just going to finish off now with a just a tiny little dash of the Chate. Is it Chate? Yeah, Chate on Lux. I think there's an LNL grooming one as well. Nope, just Chate on Lux. Black Brow Blossom Bay, which I only recently found out is actually. Bay rum scent, I didn't know, and now that I smell it, hey, I get it straight away, straight away. So I'm just going to try and mix some of this oil in. When I first got this balm, it had completely split, so I had to spend a bit of time microwaving it a little bit, just trying to incorporate the oils back into the cream, and it, it set pretty good, but if it sits for long enough, it, the small amount of oil separates on the top so all I'm doing is just giving that a bit of a mix up and this stuff leaves your skin feeling absolutely incredible I 
should have done this beforehand. So all I'm doing is just mixing it up there, just trying to get the incorporate the oils back in that have split a little bit. Right, I'm just going to use that amount there, it's just a tiny little bit, just rub it into my hands. No, I might just grab a little bit more. I'll tell you what I do like about this balm, the scent longevity on it is incredible. Now I'll put this on now, what time is it now? Three o'clock, I'll guarantee you I can still smell it at midnight. It's not a greasy formula. <laughs> By any means, it does. There is a good concentration of oils in it, but the poche feel is phenomenal. And the scent, the scent, I love it. I really, I enjoy bay rum. I love clovey scents. There's a bit of clove in there, but the scent for me on that is just outstanding. And I can only imagine all the other scents that they bring out, oh, especially in this bar. This bar would last last year an absolute eternity. It's only a little tub, a little jar, a little glass jar. The lid's all dented, but I'm not too worried about that. But, oh yeah. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, was a phenomenal shave. I really enjoyed that. I was really looking forward to it all week. I've just knocked down, I think, five or six days' growth here with absolutely no irritation and no problems whatsoever. Brush was beautiful, the soap was great, the razor was phenomenal. And yeah, post shave products are just exceptional. Really, really, really enjoyed that. I hope you guys did as well. Thanks very much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button down below. Click the little bell next to it, you'll find out when my next video uploads. I'll probably be back on the scene again now for the next little while, everyday shaving if I can, depending on how I'm feeling and if I'm not too exhausted. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.